it's finally Christmas. Jingle bells and warm cider, presents and candy canes, Christmas trees and long walks in the snow, warming up your feet by the fire, carols and holiday movies where families get together for parties and big dinners. Or you could spend December at Vancouver Cinematheque. So we're an art cinema. We've been around for 50 years. So we're not a multiplex. We're not where you go to see a Marvel movie. We're, we're where you go to see like a new Godard film. Well, an old Godard film. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not putting out any new stuff, is he? No, but no. there might be new restorations of old stuff. Right. And we're here to talk about a film series coming up on Tarkovsky. And what is really fun about this, I guess, for some people is this is in December. Yes, so December is a strange time maybe to show Tarkovsky films and I like that you said the word fun because maybe Tarkovsky is one of the least fun filmmakers of all time. <laughs> So playing it in December when everything's like a hustle and a bustle and everybody's getting really into the spirit of the season, it seems kind of funny to pair that time of year with really slow, contemplative, metaphysical cinema, but we're really leaning into it and I think that it'll really draw a crowd. He's one of our staple directors. We get tons of requests all year. Everybody's like, when are you going to play Tarkovsky again? When are you going to play Tarkovsky again? We last did it in 2012, a whole retrospective, um, but as new restorations come out, we always release them here and they always draw a huge crowd. People love Tarkovsky. Let's talk about who he is. Yes, so Tarkovsky, he's a Soviet filmmaker. He made films between the 60s and the 80s. All of his films are really, really beautiful. They're really slow and contemplative, but every single frame is just absolutely stunning. You can get swallowed up in them. Um, he was really interested in metaphysical and spiritual themes. Um, he was a huge admirer of the big European and Japanese art cinema directors of the mid-century. So he has a lot in common with somebody like Ingmar Bergman or or Kurosawa Akira, but he's really his own thing. Like you watch a Tarkovsky film and it's like no other film you've seen before. And how many films did he make? Oh gosh, I can't, I could like list them. I forgot to count them. Something like seven features. Um, so he was, he made them, he only had about a 20 year career um, and he made a film every few years and every one of them is like each shot you can tell took so long. <laughs> um, like every moment in his films is unbelievably composed and rigorous. And what is it about the films that people keep coming back to? I mean, like he died in 1986 um, and, you know, only a few films. So what is it that is the attractor? Yeah, we were talking about this in the office because one of my coworkers was like, oh, why are we doing Tarkovsky in December? Like that sad man cinema. And it really, <laughs> yeah, it really is sad man cinema. Like a lot of men just staring at a landscape, contemplating like the utter meaninglessness of life and that maybe we've been abandoned by God. Um, and I don't know why people are often Often in that mood but they really are like he is the most enthusiastically received of all art cinema directors other directors love him and I honestly think it's because he takes art really seriously he has zero humility about his work he has zero sense of humor about his work and I think that when we're feeling our most existential that's really appealing especially we can when you can match that with unbelievably beautiful cinematography it's just a real commitment to a theme and a mood that really comes across. Like watching a Tarkovsky film, you finish it and you just feel really, really smart and also really profound. So it's interesting, in December, you can, you know, watch Elf. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Oh my God! I know him, I know him! On one side, or It's a Wonderful Life. Please, I want to live again. 
I want to live again. With Jimmy Stewart. And that is a really dark movie. So we do explore, there is a lot of feelings throughout December. Yes, I think that's a really interesting comparison because It's a Wonderful Life, I think, is the most existential Christmas movie ever. So if you are in that mood at Christmas, I feel like Tarkovsky might be for you. Like, if you really feel sad but also want some redemption, like, that really is the mood of Tarkovsky. That's a strange comparison, but I think it really does fit. And you are giving a talk at the Cinematheque. I think it's on the 8th, is that the right? The 9th, 9th the right? Saturday, yeah. Mm -hmm. So at 12.30, we're gonna have a whole afternoon of Tarkovsky. So if you're if you're curious about what this director's about, why we like him, I'm gonna give about an hour-long interactive lecture. We're gonna watch lots of clips. We're gonna go through the history. We're gonna compare him to other directors. Um, and then everybody's gonna grab some popcorn and we're all gonna watch Nostalgia together and like apply our newfound Tarkovsky analysis skills. So um, if you are concerned about having to hit the cocktail circuit at around Christmas and not have much to talk about, Yes, Tarkovsky is a good thing to watch to impress your friends. Even if you really hate Tarkovsky, some people just find him like too ponderous. But it's a fun opinion to have for a cinephile to be like, you know, I just don't understand what the big deal is about Tarkovsky. I love him or hate him. So that's a good that's a good thing to chat about over the holidays with your party cinephile friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.